Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to WWDC. This is going to be the best and biggest WWDC ever. Apple Watch has had incredible growth this past year. We've got some exciting updates to the watchOS, and I'm very excited to introduce watchOS 4 today. It automatically displays the information that's most relevant to you, and you can also access Siri just by tapping on the new complication on the top left. We're also introducing monthly challenges, and we're now enhancing the pool swim workout with auto sets. And we're redesigning the music app on Watch to make this a really great experience. With the new music app, we're going to automatically sync music for you based on what you love to listen to. Let's talk about a product that in many ways is the heart and soul of Apple. Of course, I'm talking about the Mac. My privilege to announce for you today Mac OS, hi Sierra. <laughs> your privacy, your browsing history is your own. Apple file system to Mac OS is our new default. And there's a new standard to support this. It's H.265 or HEVC. Metal 2 is tremendously fast. 10 times improvement in draw call throughput. And that's increasingly about VR. And so we're bringing metal for VR to Hi Sierra. The iMac has been the gold standard of desktops for many years. And as always on the iMac, it starts with the display. These new displays are now going to be 500 nits. That's 43% brighter than the previous generation. So the 21.5-inch systems can now be configured with up to 32 gigs of memory. Now, this system gets a boost in its integrated GPU by way of Intel's Iris Plus graphics. And that's going to come in this Radeon Pro series GPUs with up to 4 gigabytes of VRAM. For the first time ever, we're going to have a 4K iMac that starts $12.99. And we're bringing faster SSDs to our MacBook. We're going to have a new configuration of the 13-inch MacBook Pro that also starts at just $12.99. but it's in this seriously badass space gray finish. The iMac Pro has a greater than 80% increase in cooling capacity. So the iMac Pro is gonna ship with an eight core Xeon processor. So we're gonna offer it with up to 18 cores. So the iMac Pro is gonna use AMD's Radeon Vega graphics, and we're gonna price it at just $49.99. So many th great things happening with uh, the Mac. We're going to take the world's best and most advanced mobile operating system. Let's talk about iOS 11. All of your conversations are automatically synchronized. And if you receive money uh, with iMessage, it goes into your Apple Pay cash card. You can make Apple Pay purchases at retail or on the web. So now you can do task management by using Siri to make tasks in OmniFocus or things. In iOS 11, Siri uses on-device learning to understand more about topics of interest to us. And what you'll notice is Control Center is now a single page, packs all the features into a single page, but it provides greater depth because with 3D Touch, 3D Touch in on a slider like this and get access to more controls. With Apple Music, we have a new feature called Share It Up Next. So if you have a friend over and you have a playlist going, well, they can do that without interrupting the music. A brand new app store. It is absolutely beautiful when you use the App Store. And it was so much fun to go in every single day and discover the new apps that were appearing. And I can't wait for you to get your hands on the new App Store and AR kit. It's going to take everything you love about the 9.7 inch and give you a whole lot more to love. Let's take a look. This is a new iPad Pro. Incredibly compact design that still weighs just one pound. Well, on the new iPad Pro, we've doubled that maximum refresh rate to an incredible 120 hertz. Inside them, they're powered by the A10X Fusion chip. The A10X has a six core CPU, also has a 12 core GPU. This is a powerhouse. More than 500 times the original iPad from just a few years ago. The new iPad Pro features the latest camera system from our iPhone 7. That means the same high performance 12 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization. Both sizes will now start with 64 gigabytes of memory. And it's just $150 more to move up to the bigger uh, display at 799. 512 gigabytes, half a terabyte of storage in an iPad. They'll start shipping next week. Now it starts with the dock. 
And we all know that dock hovering down there at the bottom of the screen. It is more powerful than ever. You can, so now if you're in an app and you swipe up, well, you can pull an app out just like that, files. It also supports third-party storage providers like Box, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Google Drive. And all I need to do is point the camera at the piece of paper. Notes will take the picture automatically, and now I just fill in the blanks with my pencil. iOS 11 is available to all of you developers today. But what about our home? We want to reinvent home music. A lot of companies hard at work making products to enjoy music in our home. Others have worked to make smart speakers that you can talk to. And it has to do a few things really great if it's gonna be a great breakthrough speaker. It is absolutely beautiful and we call it HomePod. It's covered in a seamless 3D mesh fabric that has incredible acoustic properties that drive the audio from within and then out along the bottom with tremendous directional control. Apple A8 chip. Yes, the same chip that powers the inside of our iPhone is inside HomePod. And it does real-time acoustic modeling, audio beam forming, and multi-channel echo cancellation. Just the audio to balance it and take full advantage of the environment and create a very spacious sound. Incredible speaker system that works together with our Apple Music subscription. From the beginning, it's designed to work with that. With an array of six microphones around the middle, so as you talk to it, and you say those magic words, hey Siri, now can respond to your commands and help serve up the music you want to hear. But it can also do things like give you news. Typically, Wi-Fi speakers, if they're good quality, are 300 to $500. HomePod is going to be priced for $349. December, first in the US, UK, and Australia, and then next year we'll start bringing it around the world. Updates to MacBook, MacBook Pro, and iMac, faster and more capable than ever before. iPads taken to a whole new level with an all new, perfect 10.5 inch size. iMac Pro, an entirely new workstation class of products that we designed specifically for our pro users. HomePod, a breakthrough home speaker with amazing sound and incredible intelligence. Thank you. Yeah.